Greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome into Tarot Messages. Sunday, October, Sunday, April 7th is a nice day, 2024. Wow. I remember when we were just to get into the 2000s. Anywho, Cancer, all that you want manifests. And those people that took you for granted, they are only wishing now that they had not done so. If this is not happening yet, this is to come. All that you want will manifest in your life. Star energy. And some t time from now, the things that you really want, the break that you really want, and the people who are giving you a hard time or trying to take trying to take advantage of your situation, maybe because you're in a desperate situation now, they're going to regret and feel bad for not helping you on your journey instead of support um instead of taking you for granted so let us dive into it with the star energy you may be a star fame famous wealth nice quality person you're getting a lot of attention see that star over your head you're like chosen you're you stand out you walk with, it's like you walk with that star over you you understand it's like you walk that's your imagine each person is connected to a star your star is outstanding this is like i'm seeing an avatar energy and you're, you're connected to something that makes you stand out you have like a star quality but the energy i'm feeling is like a string a line connected to like the back of your neck and it goes straight up into the sky and it is attached to a big star so it's hard to not see you because you're walking on earth but we can all see that you walk attached to a star so star may be attached to your name or fame or you're just that star quality it's hard not to see you it's, i'm i promise you have a like a, a, a it's maybe some people thought it was like a, a your, like it could be a blessing or a curse because you stand out so much because it's like you were born a star you were born <laughs> i promise you were this is like you were born like this you were born different you were born with that star connected to you in the sky. So everywhere you walk around, people are looking at you like, look at this strange person. They're connected to that to a star. I'm for real seeing, you know, a being here. In the, the her neck back is connected. A string is connected up to a literal star in the sky. So she literally walks around with a star in heaven connected to her. We can also see the line that connects the star to you like a string or something a portal you may be a tarot reader a spiritual talk i'm a spiritualist a clairvoyant you may be um a shaman a healer with the star energy you may be a water bender you may be like the avatar you may bend water and air you may be air bender with the star energy so for real you're a star queen of wands you may even be fire energy as well I, I, greetings i feel like people can hardly read you like the video like the video welcome in and thank you so let's get it you are a born star that is your birthright that is your inheritance that is how you came here to be these are your natural qualities your natural gifts this is how you were made you were made to stand out so you may be naturally beautiful like something to really look at and take in and you attract a lot of different energies to you people that are like curious about you of what kind of a person you are that's walking around with a star attached to you because not everyone has a star attached to them or like not everyone's star is lit up not we cannot we cannot really see the star of everyone all right for real this could be about your your your, your lineage as well we cannot see the star in everyone else but everyone can like we can all see you you may you're like um a black sheep you're like also like a, a good samaritan so your star energy is not one that makes you oh i'm a star i'm gonna ride in the limo show for me that's not your star energy you, you probably walk on earth barefoot and pick up bottles but you're still a star you're so amazing you know, you probably just, you love go to the water, you love natural things, and you're a star. I'm not telling you about paparazzi, but you do get paparazzi kind of attention as much as 
you you're not all for the money and the show you're still a popper you're still famous like we like strange people that just seen you for the first time they see that star above you they see the connection you have to the heavens to the star the quality in you and some of them they want to come near you some of them they don't they're like people talk about you too they whisper about you wow what is that did you see you're, you could be something strange about you maybe the way you look the way you talk the way you dress the way you eat you're just different did you see that per thing? And they may they don't know what to make of you. It's a bird, it's a plane. Some of them know you because some of them can talk about you because they've seen you before. But even those that are seeing you for the first time, I, I hear you're going to get rich. And the R in the rich is very pronounced. The R I is very potent. You're going to get rich. Yeah, I there. I said it. And you're getting a lot of attention. And if something was taken from you, stolen from you, complain to the Most High. Greetings, Jordan. I haven't seen you in a minute. And greeting, Emerald, Maddie, Jordan. And um, so you're about to even reclaim some things that weren't that were taken from you. The star card is an energy of loss. Cause imagine you are supposed to be you're a star, you know, but you're probably poor. Sorry, you know, like not not fit not not financially wealthy not having your kingdom you're a star we can see that you're royalty but you don't have that kingdom but it's it's like i can i know you're royalty you know just just the way you are it's like everybody whispering about it like do you know she's from the royal kingdom but you don't have a kingdom so it's like people talking you know think this our kingdom was taken or something like this people talk about your 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 status and so one day you're going to get all of your kingdom back, your castle and everything. You're going to have a sweat. Like one day you're going to possess everything. You're going to have river Jordans. You're going to have milk running, milk rivers running to your feet. You're sitting on the throne kind of energy. It's like you have everything back. Every, every, everything. You're sitting on top of it again. All right. So that's the energy I'm getting for you. And I'm hearing that people are going to be mad. I'm get, People are going to be mad, upset. Okay, some people are mad and upset because they're missing you. Exactly like I was saying in the earlier parts. When they, Because they're going to be wanting you. Right? Because when you were there with them, without your wealth and your riches and your awareness of how valuable you are, they, some of them rejected you, they laughed, they tried to take you for granted, they tried to sell your dreams even with this star card, not knowing that you are abundantly, you're the king, but they tried to sell your dreams. I'm telling you, these people are going to be looking at you, 33, 3. They're going to be looking at you and they're going to be, like they're realizing with this star energy that, you get everything that, that is yours success and they just they feel like oh man look how i treat that good person they may not be saying it out loud you know that is what that is why it's so profound as well because it's something that they're feeling it's a feeling that these people are having like wow i every like i'm really I, i'm really an, an unjust person because everybody i see i try to take advantage of them that's what they're saying you know and even you, who was a good quality star person, they couldn't even deal with you properly. That's how someone or a group of people are feeling. They're feeling like, because they've made this, them, this way of them become a habit, even when something good like you came their way, they, they just, they're like, oh man, I just, I couldn't even do, do a good person good. You know? So, yeah. There's people are sorry or they're gonna be sorry as you rise to the occasion of yourself. I feel like you never even ask for much. You're so humble. If you don't have your go without, you don't really cuss and complain to you know, if you don't have water, you cussing, I'm not saying you don't curse, but you will like you're not afraid of being down to earth even though you're a star, yeah, that's what I mean. You're very down to earth, yeah. So people that took you for granted when you're down to earth. And they thought that that's who you are. You're a down to earth star. 
You're amazing, you know, but you're out of your place. You're out of place. You're not in the sky anymore while you're amongst us. We're going to take you for granted, not knowing that you would rise again to your, your, your right position in the sky. Sit up on all of them. Sorry, that's how it is. You know, not sorry. I know you, as you are risen, these people are like, wow, you are a real down-to-earth star and you actually were here really with us in a real way connecting. Now you're out of their reach. Now it's like now you're outside of their reach is the energy. So let's see. That's what I'm getting. Your first card in a money message is... Wow, the nine of wands. The nine of wands. All right, let's query. Let's query. So around you, there are, there are jealous people around you. Um, I hear invigoration. Some of them, you trigger them. They, they're hyped up for some reason. Um, I hear naysayers. You see, because you're a star, star is made of fire, right? You're naturally, even though right here you look like water, stars are hot. So you're naturally hot. It, you can't help it. That's also why you're attractive. That's also why you get so much attention. It's hard to miss you. So because you're heated, you bring the heat, you trigger people. And they don't know if you're doing it on purpose or not. But whenever they're around you, they feel sort of triggered um, for some reason. And they get jealous and they get disrespectful. And they want to see you as the, a problem. This is like reminding me of legendary people who make big moves in life. Be just because you think your own way and live life your own way. They see you as a problem, but you're like, I didn't come to cause any problems. I don't want any problems. But then they try to get authorities to come around with their with the batons and straighten you up, straighten you up. That's how I'm feeling like, you know, or to target you or to tarnish your name or, you know, put all kind of things on you to say you're this, you're that. Because they saw that you literally are a different being. And they are frustrated that they, you're not conforming, you're not dimmering your light, you're not... It's like they, 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 they're trying to get you to do something you can't really do, which is to fold. You're, you're a star. But they wanted to take that light from you by humiliating you, chastising you. And you see some of these people, they wanted to be in your place. So they would tell you that you're being too this or you're being too that. And they would cuss out, cuss what you are doing out and throw it to the side and talk down on it. And they are doing it too and doing it worse. They're doing it worse than you. And they're doing it intentionally. They're doing something that they, that they shouldn't be doing because it is your thing. So it don't fit them. And whenever they see you now doing your own thing, they get upset. Let's say you're a dancer because someone here, you're very attractive. Someone would come and say you shouldn't dance like this. You shouldn't sing this song. And they call it, try to put the worst image on you because of your dancing or your singing or your, your whatever you do for work or however you dress, however you speak. And they try to do it too. They talk bad about it, you know, but then you see them open up their own thing and they're dancing like how you dance. And they're, because they're jealous. They're playing like how you play. They're singing like how you sing. They're moving like how you move. Because all along they're trying to cuss you down. But it's because they wanted to gleefully stand in your place and f look like how you, you were looking. So they were talking against you like you look the worst doing what you were doing. But they literally admired it and wanted it. Look, obsession, jealousy. These people are obnoxious. Like, that's what they were doing to your energy. Nine of Wands. These people that were trying to take you for granted. Just so that they can move in your place. Rough you up. Try to make you feel small. Like, small up yourself. Small up yourself. How can you small up yourself? You're not, to, you're, you're telling this person, I can't, sir, I can't, I can't small up myself. They think you're just, you're being stubborn. But you can't for true. You can't. You're just, you, you can't. And you're trying, you're tried, you're trying to please people. 
you try to take that star up from the sky. You try, you'd like, this, the star is attached to me. I can't smile at myself. I was born like this. I was made like this. They don't know how to small you up neither, you know, because they can't take your stardom and, and put it in a box. They can't touch your stardom. They can't touch your fame, your success, your prosperity. They can't do it. But they ha they're, ask, they're trying to rough you up. So, that, so this is all about your natural essence. It's not even about anything you possess. They may tell you you smile too much, but you just feel happy. They may tell you you give too much, but you just feel like giving. They may tell you, you try, yes, even when you're not sitting on the seat, too much, taking up too much space, you know. They want to tell you smile up because you're taking up too much space. Because they literally just have a problem with you. You're not taking up too much space. So because they see you shining, they want to, they think, oh, you're shining. I'm going to let four people sit in that seat beside you. Come, smile up more, smile up more. <laughs> it's not funny. Someone is literally like obsessed with you. They have problems with you shining your light talking your truth being your own independent self too right this is someone let's say this is a parental figure because that's what i'm feeling right they wanted you to be docile but because you speak so brilliantly so bright they're like come on know yourself know yourself but they just feel like insecure and bothered about how confidently you speak about how you think differently you that and how about especially like if this is a parent they feel afraid that you're literally not afraid of them not that you're disrespectful in you, at all you know they're just afraid that you're not afraid of being yourself that means it feels to them like you're refusing them so it makes them feel like you're bright and out of order exactly you're literally bright and out of their order but they make that look like it's a bad thing one minute they tell you you're bright, and that's a good thing. But when you're actually bright, you're stunner. You're saying things that they never even visioned or dreamed of saying. You're not saying the things that they put in you to say. You're saying your own thing. And you don't mean to, like, be a problem. You're just, that's how you were made. But because they feel like they didn't, they didn't um, pass that down to you. Where did you get that from? But you're connected to the heavens. You're connected to the stars. That's where you get it from. And you're trying. You're like, you're like, Mom, really, I don't mean to say these things. I don't mean to be like this. I can't help it. I can't control it. These are my powers. These are my gifts. Don't chastise me. Don't criticize me. Give me a try. Right? They'll be like, mm -mm. know yourself or, or don't come to my home. And it, like, it really had no basis except jealousy, indignation, and, and, and all these, this nine I want energy. So let's look at your next card. Captivated, like people are upset that they can't confine you. The card says captivated this one. Captivated, they're just mad that they can't confine you. You may be like, let's say you have, um, let's say you have friends or family members that have children and they're doing they're living life the traditional way and but you are different maybe you don't have any children maybe you do a different type of job something like this they vexed with it like why you just don't settle down and be normal maybe they're really really vexed with you you know they're taking it really personally personal let's see your next card so as these great blessings come to you, you inherit yourself. Like uh, you, you like reclaim yourself. And these people are are gonna be mad and upset and sad that they never really saw you. I'm telling you, they they never really, 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 truly, truly saw you for who you are. They just they wanted to see you for who they wanted you to be. Because you see, because you have a particular personality that. You didn't really take shape and form. You weren't like, this is who I am, this is who I am. Wah, wah. You, you didn't conform to a particular character that fit into their narrative of, like they have four different types of people and you should be one of those four, for example. Right? But you, you weren't none. You weren't any of them. You weren't like any of them. 
So because they felt a particular empty space within you, like you weren't claiming to be any like any of them, right? Loud, sad, funny, whatever they were. Sorry, nothing wrong with those energies, you know. But you know, in, a, in certain families or groups, they have the one that is this, they have the one that is this, and the one that is that, and the, you are none, you're not any of those things. So they ask you, so what are you, what are you about? So what are you saying? And you're not saying anything. So because you have a particular empty vibration where I feel like you mostly observe cancer. You spend a lot of time looking, observing, absorbing because you're a star. That's your nature. That's how you learn. That's how you know how to be influential. That's how stars roll. So you know how you know how to market, you know how to reach the crowd, you know how to give people what they want. You always have the answers. And that's what makes people jealous of you as well. Because they're wondering, they, they may even tell you you talk too much. You're going like you know too much. You're acting like you're too bright. To going back to you being bright. Like they tell you to like shut up. They tell you you act like you're too bright. And I mean the things you're answering, you know, are things that they want to know. But you may be sitting there like, imagine you're, you're a younger one and you're sitting with your family as a, young, a younger one and you are say, you're speaking outside of the box. You're saying what they don't expect of you to say at that particular age, that type of thinking. Maybe you're thinking positively. Maybe you're, you're you know what I'm saying? They feel like, oh, they feel upset, up offended. Anywho, so going back to you not taking a form that they wanted you to take, they, try, they thought that because of that, they could project onto you who to be. And when you refuse that, they're upset because they feel offended. Because you are refusing to be one of the... They want to make you... They want to try to groom you to take some, some identity, some characteristics that don't belong to you. And they're upset because of that. They think you're, you're like... They're like, this one... They start to act like this about you. This one... Cha, don't even bother with this one. That's how they start to talk about you. With them. Then they, that's how you became separate from them in essence. Because they couldn't accept you for who you are. They couldn't accept you for the way you are. You probably had no way. Your way was of a 10 different light speeds away. The way you brought to them was light speeds away. So they couldn't understand it. And because it was so beyond them... They thought that you, you, you were like going against their way of being. So imagine you're an alien and you arrive in a village. And in this village, you can see from a higher perspective everything. And you may not partake in everything that these people partake in. So they feel like you come to change things about them then. You don't like our village. Okay, then. You don't like our food. You don't like our music. What? What? We can't do anything to please you. So they start to feel offended. No, they, they start to plot. They're going to start to plot. You see this alien that came to our village. He's not even with us. He's, he's, he doesn't eat our food. He doesn't go. He spends the night looking at the stars. So they, they'd like try to group up against you <laughs> because of who you are, because of the way with you. It's almost like I can't believe it, but that's what's up. And it's easy. It's easy for people to think this way because I feel like you have not always been this star energy. You know, you woken up to the truth of who you are. That is especially why they're offended. But yes. Because there were times, Cancer, that you tried to please, like I said, you acted, you, you, you made yourself uncomfortable so you wouldn't look weird or so people would feel comfortable around you. So when you actually woke up to the truth that you don't need to do that, you're okay, they saw that you were surviving without them because these people are, they're, they're mean, you know? I'm going to check your comments in a few, don't worry, okay? They're mean energy. They they um they're low vibrational. Like they um they don't feel good about themselves. That is why they try to get. That's why they gather up like this. That's why they bundle up and stick up right beside each other. They love the crowd energy because when they're in the crowd, it it distracts them from paying attention to the truth of who they are. That's why they're so jealous of you as well. Because a lot of them would like to be like you. 
like go wander out in this in this in the fields and look up at the stars but they just feel like that's of an, that's of another story that's a dream life that's a wishing wish wish life you're just wishing that you can live like that so they're mad at you for that this is a money reading so you, this is maybe something you do for work that's different you may be a farmer and in these times people don't farm people do other to do things differently whatever and you're not, I'm telling you, you're not offending anyone. You know, nothing you're doing is literally is not trespassing on anyone. You're not taking food out of anyone's mouth or anything like that. You're not forceful. You're just they just can't understand the way of your being because mentally, they've been taught to to live a certain way. And if they've been trained for so long, let's say they went. These people went to school for seven years to study something. And then you come and have a breakthrough in this in this field. Maybe you are a scientist or you're a researcher, just naturally. And you're just doing your thing your way. And you didn't have, or you didn't have to go through school. You didn't have to get certain certificates. Because your generation's ahead, you know? And they're thinking, okay, like maybe they're thinking like hard work. Hard work is the energy. Like, yeah, and they're fighting for it, you know? Even though you came legendary to show them, these people are fighting for the belief patterns that they have now about how life should be. And you're tr <laughs> that's how I'm feeling. All right. So they thought that you were different. So them thinking that you're different makes them feel like they all can group up on you, talk behind your backs, pick on you, all of these things. Then I want energy. You know? Because real <laughs> nine of cups, there are some real menaces. And in, you see, all this time that they have to try to target you, they could be doing something else, you know. They could be dreaming underneath the sky like you, but they say they don't have time for it. And they're still jealous at you and have time to pick at you. So they don't want to change. And you're not forcing change on anyone. You're just, it's almost like I said, it's a blessing and it's a curse the way you have to live. It's not something that you want to do or you're just being, dif you're just being difficult. It's just how you have to be most, I, 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 we probably soon find out is most high put you here like this for a particular reason. And I'm telling you, your shrubs, your blessings, your inheritances are coming in. Your dream come true, what you've been wishing for, all of it. You've been like y your life journey probably has been so difficult because of how you are, who you are. You've been waiting for the time to literally like get get beyond this torment and sit in on your throne to get your all of your inheritance back. That's what you came here for. You came here to free all of these people mentally too, but they couldn't see. They couldn't see. That's what you're here to do. Cancer. They thought you were opposing them. They, they they felt that you came for a change, but they didn't know that the change was to literally to free to free them from this whatever is holding them back. All right, so it's like a blessing and a curse. But most I promised you fulfillment, like when he said, "Go to the city of he she Nineveh and tell the people this and tell the people that this is your life story." You have to live how you live. Let's read your comments after a few more cards. Nine of Cups is your fulfillment, your wishes, more um, evidence of fulfillment and success and happiness within yourself that I'm feeling no one can take away. You don't mind playing by yourself. Like they run you into the bush. They treat you like the hunchback of Notre Dame, like the one that you're supposed to go huddle off in in a place by yourself and and be a troll or a, or a shrek somewhere far you should go far away and and hide yourself you should think you're ugly you should that's how they created um monsters and creatures by sending away the different ones the different ones to them should be chastised so that they can continue huddling up and continue fee huddling up in a group and feeling the same when they feel the same, they feel safer. They feel like, ah. But you know what? They're getting comfortable in toxicity and you cannot. You came as a healer. 
imagine going into a village of ill people that got used to being ill and you go with a healing energy of star. They're afraid of it. They're afraid of it. They're afraid of the healing light. They think you're coming to change things. Even though you came to heal, they're afraid that you came to heal them. They're literally frightened. They think... They, 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 that's why they make so much excuses for themselves. They're like, ah, oh, And they pass this illness down, you know, to their own youths. Because they think this is how it has got to be. And you're like, no, no, no. Nope. Some of you could be child free. And like I said it earlier. And people vex about that. The Hierophant. They try to put you under a spell. They try to send you to special education. They try to get the teacher to talk to you. The priest to talk to you. Something is wrong with you. You see the priest now? The priest knew that there wasn't anything wrong with you. Because the priest has spiritual eyes to see what you, have, what you are, who you are, why you are here. But even the so-called priest would have fight against you. And the school and everything. The Hierophant is anything traditional to bend your mind. But even these people of the Hierophant energy knew the truth of who you were. And so oftentimes when people complain about you, they just let you be. Because, you know, high, high priest energies, they tap into futuristic energies. They know that something is to come. They know that change is to come. But one day it's just to come and they don't know how it's... So when they see people complaining about you... They, they they literally just they look at you they feel they feel connected like they, they feel concerned but they don't let it trouble them because these people are highly spiritual but they are still not stars like you but they still are highly spiritual you're of a different era but these spiritual people like like i said your pastors your priests your school teachers your doctors they know that you are the change some of them, anyway, let's move forward again. Eight of diamonds. You keep working on yourself hard or your crafts. Nine of diamonds. You're making a lot of money inheriting. We have three nines on the table. So I know like great change is coming for you. That when you get, in your, when you get your highlights, people are going to be jealous. People are going to feel sorry. Four of diamonds. Um, um, someone also wants to love you. This person could be a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Strong Capricorn energies. They want to love you and treat you right energy. Right? Someone, mm, someone wants to make, someone also, you know what? Someone wants to make a baby's too. Someone wants to make a movie with you. All right. So let us check. Let us check out your questions at this point. All right. Jordan asks for a reading. So I'm going to do a couple of free readings right now if you'd like to do a paid reading it's by the super cash or super thanks at this point in time thank you for choosing to support the channel the live so jordan your question is i just want a general perseverance give me a card for jordan angels spirits guides gossip you could be hearing about something this it could be your aunties i'm getting gossiping about you about they may be saying you look like your father or you get you get some things from your father you get some things from your mother because they're gossiping about the way you look or your inheritances or let's look more jordan who is gossiping about you what is the gossip card what is the gossip card for Jordan Angel Spirits, guys? People are gossiping about Jordan. People are gossiping on you. You may have a garden or some potteries, flowers. 
um, plants. They may be gossiping about plants about you. They also say, Jordan, you don't give up. So that is like an admiration, but it, they're still gossiping about it. They know that roadblocks were in your way. Prognosis. It was something was blocked or stopped or lost. These people know something happened. They're sitting around talking about it today, today. Despondent. They could be talking with your mother, with your family. They're talking about your birth right, your birth land, um, the, where you come from. They're talking about your hair and the clothes you wear. Um, they don't, but they don't know you though. That's what spirit is saying. Spirit is saying they don't know your soul. They don't know your grace, right? But they do see that you are secure and you're confident. You're inheriting finances. You're working on yourself. You're making money. You could be deciding to go back to school. I hear a lawyer. You could be getting your degrees. Something about Master Chef. They may be saying you get your cooking, your cooking skills or whatever skills and talents you got from your mother or your father. That's what they're gossiping about you. There, there. Some people are trying to talk good things about you, like in your favor, like you know she got that good thing going. But I don't really trust these people because I feel like they were the they were once talking bad about you. Going back to this particular reading, Jordan, where some people see now that you're receiving and claiming your birthright, your inheritance. Now they wish that they didn't take it for granted. Because now they're beginning to see you come out, see you step into the truth of who you are in some way. Let's see how you're doing that. You're accepting something, ab you're accepting something about yourself. Yeah, these people are, like, some people are seeing that. I feel like they did not believe in you at first. Or they did never believe in you. But maybe other people are believing in you now. So they want to talk about, you know, like, that's my... That's my cut. That's my niece. That's my daughter. But at first, they never saw what you did as valuable or meaningful. Your yeah, rejection, right? They age worded. It, you know, they made you feel like. Shh, that's how I'm feeling. Like they mm -mm, five five energies. Yeah, I know. It's like you made a name of yourself. You pick your your face up off the ground. You put your image back together. And none of, <laughs> I know they want to come like align with you. All right, so fake people, fake talking positive about you, but whatever they're saying is true. You know, your whatever good things and good compliments you're receiving of them is your justice. It had to be done this way, but it's like they're picking their mouth up off the ground, right? Because at first they look at you with the dirty eyes. This. They 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 taught they told people hmm, that one hmm. I don't mean, I don't have, they like didn't have any hope in you they didn't know your soul like I like I said earlier so they didn't even know what to talk about you they thought if you weren't like them you were nothing right they thought that oh some of them were saying oh you know um. I'm very good at cooking if only she could come up and learn how to cook so good. But I do it. I did the best that I could. You know, that's how they talk. <laughs> you know, I take care of my family. But if only she... I, I try... Like, this is like a sister energy now. is <laughs> trying to compare to you, like, saying... Alright, let's say... Um, let's say you, you broke up with somebody. Or your relationship didn't work out. Or you're just a different... You don't stand for certain things. Even though it is a strength, it is a good quality. They made it look like you could have done it. You could have done better. You could have settled for less. Because they're like, with my family, I did it so and so. So it's like they're trying to big themselves up you know, in the past to put you down because of a certain decision that you made or how you choose to live. Right? But now... No, what? No, what? They, like I said, they be eating their words because you're shining. Forgiveness. This is how they're feeling. But they still have little snake energies within them, I can feel. No, you're shining. No, it's like it is. You're undeniable, is the energy. No, you are undeniable. I don't know who came around and knighted you. 
and 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 um certified you and approved you no they can't deny you they can't deny you they cannot deny you so people coming and saying like i said with that star card you could be getting a lot of attention for something you could be good good at eating or you're an eater you're good at eating food or and they thought that this was less but now they see well people giving you attention it's really a skill it's really a gift now they're like yeah it, whatever it's like whatever you're doing now they can't deny that you're getting attention but they they your family i'm getting is a family situation you know could not see your that this is a gift they couldn't appreciate it because in their mind they had an idea of what you should become you know i'm good at dressmaking i just really thought that at least she dress make because this is i just make and i used to teach her even if they never used to teach you anything and you learn on your own they go and say they expect what well, ah expectations thank you for helping me with my vocabulary right <laughs> they didn't ex this like they're saying you didn't meet any of the expectations they, they didn't have any like faith in you it's like the way how they talk about you is so dismissive and so like they disregard you I'm sorry, you know, but you are a miracle and they know it. Ask them. Ask them if they don't know that without you, what else would they have? Because these people are, are obsessed with you. You are their balance. You bring balance to their life. Even when they dismiss you, even when they disregard you, they still have to be in your energy. They have to. They have to look at what you're doing. They have to keep up with you. Right? Some of them try to groom you these people they try to instill program your mind how to think how to feel how to be how to act these some of these people were your handlers that mishandled you by fault they mishandled you you know and that was a good thing because mishandling means they couldn't have handled you they couldn't have passed down to you what they were set here to pass down to you right you were your own person and so some of them even felt guilty because someone someone in your life feels guilty because they wanted to give you something that they did not have to give. They didn't have it really naturally, instinctively. They didn't have it, but they felt like they have to give it to you. Let's say this is an educator. They know that they don't really know the, the information to give you for real. They're just going to feed you something irrelevant and fake. They said so they feel guilty about giving you something that's not true and trying to spoon feed it to you and try to convince you to take it, even though you're asking them, why do I have to do this? Look at this one in the background. Trying to spoon feed you certain things and they, they, they felt guilty about it because they don't know what it is for. They don't know what it means. Handler vibration. Tarot, tarot, tarot lingo. I don't know. I was thinking that like, I've been reading tarot for so long. My, my, my vocabulary has been tarotized. So I know <laughs> the certain words I know. Um, tarot lingo. But my other vocabulary, I don't know. I was just thinking that this today earlier. So that was for Jordan. How am I doing today? I'm all right. I give thanks. I'm a little bit tired. Yeah. I'm a bit tired. But I'm okay. I'm happy. I feel all right, I guess. Happiness is a word. It's just a word. You know? Why are people so mean? Well, you could look into yourself, Jordan, and see why you are so mean. If there is meanness in you, then you can figure out why people are mean. Let's see, why are people so mean? Anyway, you understand what I'm saying? It's, it's within us. We can understand. We can have an inner standing of how other people are feeling, why they do what they do. There's some of it is hurt people, hurt people, people not knowing themselves kind of vibration. And people are not mean. People are not mean always. Sitaro reader, Pokemon Taro. Someone has wished 
an inch upon me, a part of me wants it to happen to them, but I don't want the karma. Well, yeah. What they wish upon you will, will reach upon them. So as a tarot reader, you're a spiritualist, so the energy is for you to clear up your energy so that it doesn't affect you. That's how it's gonna backfire. Cause if it's not going to affect you, it's gonna it's automatic. You don't even have to do any return to senders or whatever. Just literally meditate, become nothing, become stillness, become without form. So whoever they're trying to target, you're not that. So when they try to send a message to you, there's no receiver of it. No one lives at that address. The the mailman is like, sir, that address does not exist who you were sending this to that there's no no one we have to take it back to you so that's how that works so be so invisible to their targeting don't claim who they're asking you to be because you're not i hear jumper you could jump timelines i guess you're thinking that you could jump timelines and mess up these people's lives if you wanted to <laughs> You probably like to fight. I feel like you're a fighter. You don't mind fighting at all. And you probably like competition. That's probably why you have a tarot channel. Oh my god, Pokemon. Um, that's probably why you have a tarot channel. As well. You like getting in it. You like you probably like racing cars and stuff like that. You like playing games. You don't mind competition and you don't like you don't mind reading people's minds either. You know. You don't mind taking someone's light too and gloating in it like Mortal Kombat. And sometimes if they ever drive you to do that, you will relish in it. You will love it. You probably have teeth. Something about your teeth are specific. What's about your teeth? I don't know. I hear Vixen. The sharpness of your teeth is is um telling about the that's that's competitive edge of yours for real you know like you watch some villain movie i'm not saying you're a villain you know and the villains go ha 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 and their teeth sharp like the sharpness of your teeth is the intensity of your esque that that passion esque that deep edge esque of yours so how sharp are your teeth dog up in this they don't even know then they want to test. They want to find out. Um. So yeah, you also can call people. You have access to people. I hear a telephone call. Random people, people that can help you on your journey. You can just make a phone call. I'm getting. Me and my mom don't get along, but she knows I love her. Do you know that you love her? Do you know is the energy? Or do you know that she loves you? Because I'm getting, do you know? It sounded like an ad, like a billboard you would drive past on the road and it says, do you know? It just, something like that. Um, but there is distance. My mom knows that I'm also a psychic reader if she doesn't, if she doesn't improve her. Mm-hmm. Like, for example, some of them came particular, reading a particular text, Hierophant card, right? And you came reading yourself. And I'm getting for some of them, they know that you are right. They can feel the power in you, in your message, in your mission. They know you're not wrong. But they're fighting against that too. Belief systems. Cause they're like that's why I'm saying if they were doing something for so long. Um add pepper to your food. Scotch bonnet pepper. Um or something about scotch bonnet. Hmm. It has something to do with your nerves. There's a man, there's fire in his eyes. It felt like hot pepper. Be mindful of that. You're also very youthful at this time, like very, very youthful right now. Number six energy, like maiden energy, maiden and night, very youthful and like ready to even bear seeds. I'm telling you that kind of youthful, like you're just coming into your mature era, 
but young and prime and you may find love is how I'm feeling and you may get some bamboo and um, it may go right up. I'm sorry, it's Sunday, but I'm telling you, six, six energies. <clears throat> it may go up in there and um, it just it feels like that. It's just that time. It's also giving me, it's that time someone is having a baby or something, All right? Or someone wants to send it up. 32 energy. That could be a Pisces. Or someone is thinking about that. Alright, let's move on. It's just that time for you to start. Take. It's like, you know, when it, it's just so like a time for you to start. Take, man. I'm sorry. But it's giving me in a pure, graceful way. It's not terrible. It's giving me. Like this maid, this girl here, this woman. She's just becoming. She's finding herself, you know? She's like, I don't know why this is relevant. Why am I even talking about it? I just don't know why. I just feel essential to say it. She's of the right age and the right... She's so youthful and so fertile with that energy. And some, like someone wants to take her. Or she wants to be... I don't know. Let's move on. Let's move on. Okay. This could be the energy of your own mother too, when she when she was about to conceive you. It's maybe telling me of how how the feelings transpired, what happened. Because maybe some of your your mothers had you at a young age. The kingdom of God is at hand, says Matt. Repent and be baptized. God is not mocked. That which is a man so it he shall also reap. Yeah, profound proverbial words that matter somehow mat mat matters in life. Mat matter. Um Jordan says thank you. Yes, yes. Table book. Wow, table book on the live. Helen, greetings. You're still shining like a what? It's a beautiful gift that God gave me, and I'm so happy, and I'm so proud of myself. Yeah, and it, it is so fulfilling, fulfilling, and there's much more in it that is fulfilling. Okay. Thank you so much, and God bless you, and many more. Yes, you too. So, do you see a future child? Oh, my gosh. Yes. That's what I was feeling a while ago. I felt, I know it. There's someone that's, oh, I can feel them. They're almost like exactly like you, but in op the opposite energy, like opposite genders. I know it. I know it. They're there. It, they're there. I, or it's the seed I'm feeling. I'm feeling something. I'm feeling some, some life. I'm feeling something. Something, 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 something. I don't know if it's, I don't know, I'm feeling something. Brittany, what's going on with me during this Mercury retrograde? Being still and patient. Mm -hmm. World card, oh my gosh, look. Pregnancy, breaking cycles, new beginnings. You're getting new beginnings of having what you want. And I'm hearing and who you want. And I'm hearing food. Right? Three of wands. Um, something that you've been waiting for. A person. And I'm telling you, there is like an intertwinement that is going to take place. I hear this place, this person's name may be Rush in some way. But they are coming to 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 intermingle in your energy they are to take over your world that's what they're thinking king and planning but you're like neo in the matrix you're something of a legend like you can see the future you can see prognosis you can see what is to come you or you can feel it that feeling i was feeling that birth energy something is or that seed or an ignition or a new flame or a new life or you can like you can the other half it's the feeling of i know it's something exists 
but I don't know it. I don't see it yet, but I know it is there as if I created it, but it's in a distant land. Okay, so with three of wands, it's something you've been waiting for. Something coming on the seas. It's coming into your world. It's a business, a place, a person. Some of you, this is an ex. Oh my gosh, love. And this is, your whole world is about to be loving. Your energy is being restored. This is a baby too. I'm telling you, this is good news about pregnancy, about having children, about working with um, a particular person or group. Wow, you're getting you're getting admiration. You're getting admired right now. Admired. Yeah, yeah. The retrograde energy is people wanting to come back in your life. I hear father. Someone even someone like a baby father may want to come around and say, "I'm I want to be a father to 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 our child. I want to be here." Okay, I want to put one in that tum tum tummy of yours. Look, wisdom and gratitude is both. Gratitude is about youth and um, healing, motherhood. And this card is also showing healing and motherhood here in this wisdom card. I also feel you're about to make a lot of money. You may lose some. But you're winning a lot. You're, what you win is more than what you lose. Maybe by twice as much. Self-worth. It will be worth it. This will bring you joy. You're going to be having so much fun. Your ancestors are asking you to hang on. Have faith. Hang on. Believe in them. Faith may be the only thing you have to hold on to right now. Okay? Confusion. You're going to get through this phase. Nobody wants you. Some You may be thinking that that may be a thought that is echoing in your mind. Sometimes when I see this card, I hear a thought. Last night I heard um, something that says like you're pathetic. So those kind of thoughts come with this confusion card. You may think no one wants you. You may feel like it for some reason. Like you may feel like you're not chosen. Yeah, this is you. You're going to be growing out of those mental traps because of um, your past experiences this was a setup from earlier age for you to feel like this in your adult age so that you would buy particular things and spend money a particular way spend your energy a particular way it's a setup it just feel like a systematic setup for you to grow down and get trapped in the system because of certain traumas but as you grow past this with your healing essentials you make money is how i'm feeling like you're growing you're taking your power back and some of them don't know i don't know who they are but they don't know how you're so ungottable like you thought that nobody wants you and now you're on you're ungottable no one can have you is how i'm it's not it's not concretely that no one can have you you know but that's the essence of the message. You are everything. You're, you're so big. There's so much to you that it's going to take another big man or a big wo woman, like another God like yourself, to be able to see all of your needs and meet them. And you're not worried about that. You're content. That is why no one can got you right now. Because you're so content with connecting to your divine essence. You're so, you know the truth. The stories that they were telling you about how this all should be were not true to you. So now you know that they can't sell you a story. They can't, they cannot bait you up to get your energy, to get you to feel sad and not believe in yourself. Like some of you definitely gonna be having youths or carrying life in this world in some profound way. It may not even be the traditional way of having youths. But how you will do it will be trend setting. Will be not what they thought you taught you how it should be. You know what I'm saying? Divine energies. Some of you, like a grandmother or a parent, like is feeling guilty and sad and broken. Because or someone could be feeling like they are without um, family members and friends around them or someone wanted you to feel that way 
complacent like giving up like nothing is working out for you someone wanted you to feel like a poor thing or maybe that's how you're feeling like mm-hmm, like you can't do anything for yourself but this is not true this is you not this is you saying grandma i'm not going to adapt to your energy your mindset you know so this is you being the change for your generation something about a sheep soulmate this i feel like you're taking your bags up you know those energies of when someone a person is about to go on their own journey <laughs> i haven't seen this depicted in a long time right and they get a piece of cloth and tie up some bread in it and tie up some jam and some little biscuits and then they tie the cloth on a stick and put the stick across their back. I haven't seen that in a long time. And go on their own journey. That's how I'm feeling. Like that's what you did. You took yourself away into for yourself. Yeah. And they, of course there's love. Like I say coming in. Oh my god. Did I not tell. I've been. Fe- I'm just realizing that. I was saying I was feeling this person coming. The Ace of Cups. A real love. True love. This person has been looking for you. Everywhere about. They've been asking. Have you seen this one anywhere about someone is eager to find you like why don't you let them in passion why 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 because why don't you let love in really for real real really let's query why 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 you've like oh my god soulmate and rejected Maybe you feel like a love rejected you. Maybe you feel like you don't know yourself. You know, you you lost connection with yourself. You've been hurt before. You don't want to give your love. But this person, they hear all of that. The person that loves you. They hear you. They see you. They get what you're saying. But that's why you don't want me to love you. I can love you. I can love you. I just I can love you broken or whatever. I can love you. I can love you as you are. I can I can I'm opening my eyes up. I can love you scarred. Just I see all of that. I can love you is the energy someone is saying. This person like joy. You bring so no they want to love you. You bring so much joy to me. There's nothing you're short of. You make me feel so good. There's everything to you. You bring life to me. I love you. You are everything. This is how someone is feeling. You're not short of anything. You thought you're broken, but you're wholesome. You're wholesome to this person. You're, 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 you, you thought it was broken, that you were broken, but you became everything that this person wants. You were made more up for this person. It's like you were made more up for this person. They just want you to see that it is not broken. You got broken. You were made for them. But you're still afraid to trust the process. You may be thinking, oh, God didn't tell me it was you. I want to, I'd like to love you, you know. But uh, God didn't say it was you, you know. That's all you're feeling like. I don't know, you're looking for a little spark. Like, and the the spark is there because this person, they keep showing up. This person, they keep showing up every time they're there. They're sitting on your your veranda with you, talking to you about any, just, just this beautiful open feeling of just wanting to be in your grace, in your presence. Someone loves you so much and you don't know. For real, like you may even feed this person. They come over and you just you tell them sit on the veranda, cause they, they respect you, you know. So they go and sit on the veranda. They're not gonna be too intrusive. And they come and you share dinner for them. But you're not thinking it's romantic, you know. You're just being good to a person that's showing up. And you give this person some dinner. And you're eating with them and you're talking. And then this you don't know that this person is in love with you and feeling like. Uh, they want they they want to intertwine with you. You're just taking it casually, okay? And then you tell this person, "I'm gonna I'm gonna go in now," and so on and so forth. But they don't want to leave you, you know. They don't want to leave. They feel attached to you. They barely want to go, you know. Barely. They don't. Mm-mm. 
they feel so attached to you, like this person is feeling like you are the right one. When they, when they That's a song, when I look into your eyes, I need to find that song. Right? Completion. You are the end, you are the it, you are the one that they've come up on. They no one else. You're the end. You're the end and the beginning for this person. They found you. You've, they've discovered you. They've come to you. They've come. They've arrived. That's what they've been looking for. You are their destination. They just need to up on board now and get the ball rolling. You know, that's the energy. This person will never leave you. No matter what. I only carry dogs and tie up a yard gate. They don't have no fear. Even if, because the dogs at the yard gate is giving me some distance energy, right? Something that may be keeping you apart. So even if like something rough happens and there's a, like this person, they feel rough or they feel edged, irritated, angry, frustrated. Not, none of those energies will keep them from you still. It's you. They're always going to look over the, the frustration, look over the dogs. Look over what's separating you. Look over the fear. Look over the insecurities. And look over there. Look into your yard. Call into your yard. See what's going on with you. Maybe looking at your online posts and stuff like that. Even though they feel like you stop welcoming them around. Or they just don't know what's going on with you. Okay. So let's see. Let's see if this person will come back. Will you meet again? Why are you so distant? I don't get it. Like, if only you could let this person love you. I want to see what it looks like. They, I'm knowing you're going to get a... You may be afraid of bearing youths. And you know that that's what's going to happen. But you may be afraid that this person's going to leave you. And all of these things. And you're at this age now. And you're just blah, blah, blah. You just can't deal with it. But this person, I feel like they will be committed to you. They're not going to leave you like your father did. Whatever. That's how it sounded. No, not this is not personal. Like, they're not... This, I just don't know why I don't trust this person that they were made to... They were made right for you. They were made to show you the right way that things done. They, they are man enough. They're woman enough for that position. They're not like your past experiences. But you still don't believe and you still won't open up and let this person in. And you ask for them, you know. You ask for this person, you pray to And God say, but, but I still feel like you're just still not believing it was most high that sent this person. But I know, I feel like you somehow you beckon for them to come into your life. And they came. But you were probably looking for them to come through a particular door. But I think God had to sneak this one through the back door so that your ex couldn't see this person coming into your life or jealous people couldn't see this person coming into your life. Or so maybe the usual tactics that you used to use, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't put the usual barriers, you wouldn't like put them up. Because maybe at first you saw this person as not your type. <laughs> Like that's the energy. I'm gonna. I'm, it's gonna be unexpected, but it's a person you love. Let's see if you love this person. Let's see how you feel. Do you love this person? Oh my gosh, you're like yes. I. You think this person is perfect? You think that this person was made for you? You're like the way how this person just sits with me. I think it's great. I think it's great how they spend time with me and wait on me and is patient with me. And I like their energy too. They're cool and calm and they're reassuring and I feel safe around them. But you're still feeling like... The, but... Uh, I think you should... You should... K I, you know, you should... This person, I think that that will break the spell. Like you will fall in love. That's what you're afraid of too. But love is meant to happen. And it's beautiful when it comes from you. The essence of you, your fragrance, your aroma, when your flower, your love flower is in bloom or unfolded, it's so sweet. It smells up the whole place. It lights up the whole place. Your essence of love, that's the energy. This person is patient for that, for that honey nectar vibration of yours. Your God-esque. 
They want you to give it to them. Your attention, your love, your royalty, your wife vibration, your woman energy. They want they want you to be the woman for them or the man for them. They want to claim you. They want you by their side. It's for real in real life. This person will wait on you. Three of Wands and the Ace of Cups. They've been waiting on you. And I feel like they're saying they don't mind waiting. This is kind of weird. And you keep this person waiting. And it was not this person's fault though that your trust was broken. This is a new person. And you are, you deserve to have a good connection. To have a try at a good connection. Right? Imagine if this... Per anyway. Anyway. He's a Leo. Okay. You've probably been your friend. You're probably trying to put this person in a friend zone. But they're not friend zoneable. What's going on? Okay. Your work document. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Taurus Divine. Feminine twin, Leo divine, masculine, masculine. I'm father God. I belong to him. You belong to both of them, masculine. But the two of them take for create you, man and woman. You know. Where's your mother? What's she doing? You see the, anyways, the power of of a mother energy in in their child's life. Can you imagine a, a lioness protecting her cub? It's different from a, a, a lion protecting his cub, you know. But a lioness protecting her cubs? <laughs> you don't want to mess with that. Like, how sharp? You want to test the sharpness of my teeth? So, Brittany. Akansha. 1.5 years back, I had a breakup. Will Hamish be back and give me the commitment? I don't know. Nancy was betrayed. Trust was broken. It's, yeah, we've got it. It's like life is a puzzle, you know. You don't want to try again? To rebuild again? How are we going to get across the bridge? We're going to stay, just stay on this side. Be like, oh man, we can't go across the bridge because every time we try to stack the things stack up high, the wind blows it down. Oh man, but we need to get across the bridge, so what? We got to try again. We need a team that feels like, listen, we've got to think of a way, try again. Maybe stand around it so the breeze don't blow this time. Maybe build a firm, the foundation firmer this time. Maybe start off by being authentic. Try again. Where did that, what happened? We need to ex extend this bridge across so that we can we can get past this, don't it? Right? So we can, when we get across it, you it. They thought nobody could cross it. But we built a bridge across it. And we, we work together. So when we get across, we feel accomplished. Like, yes, they said no one can do this, but me and my team did it. It was difficult. No, actually, they never said no one can do this. But it's difficult. It's difficult. You live and you learn. You try again. And then you pass down what you learn to your youths to see if that may help them on their journey. But they may learn a different way how to build than you did. But the energies they keep trying. What are you gonna do? Stay just stay on one side? You're afraid you get halfway there and you'll fall into the precipice. But you're not gonna thankfully this won't kill you, it'll make you stronger. If if this is a game, you can start again. Like playing Mario. Look how much time we try if you jump across the something. And every time we reach that level, perp, it catch me. We don't give up. We go back and we play again. Till we become an expert at that level. Trust is something that we can build in our relationships. We just got to keep going. You love him. <laughs> you love him. We just wish you would have spent more time with him. 
I wish you time them when you spin and eat, invite him for dinner on your veranda. You do it like you actually you're like you'd feel in love with him like how you really feel. Instead of not allowing yourself to feel and just be in the divine connection that he's already feeling like that, you know. But you are still making up a story in your head that he's friend zoned or he wasn't the one sent for you or whatever. Even though he's there. Oh my gosh, I wish you'd love him though. I think maybe that's that's kind of how he's feeling. And this person is not a weak minded person. They're so strong. That's why they wait for you. That's why they show up for you. When my ex contact me, remember to like the video, share the live. I keep getting sad for, for no reason. It's not exactly for no reason. And if it is for no reason, then why are you sad about it? You're sad that you're sad for no reason. You wanted to have a reason to be sad. So if you had a reason to be sad, you'd feel like at least I know why I'm sad. So that would make you feel like you have control over your sadness because you can now say why you're feeling sad. Because you're trying to maybe be in control and change your vibration to not feel sad you're the type of person that you like to make people feel better that's your energy you are a giver and you try every you always try to make people feel better i think especially because you know what it feels like to not feel better and to know how to make yourself feel better but you making other people feel better makes you feel better it's giving me the energy that you need to really deeply connect with the core of yourself because even you trying to make people other people feel better is somehow of a disconnect from the core of yourself you need to dive into yourself again and come back from the other side come back out from inside and i love you you are a capricorn you could be forgiving someone or you need to forgive yourself and see love yourself and forgive yourself like how you do it to others and know that people do that for you too people love you people see you people forgive you for real um so be try finding that kind of a energy something you can be content with moving on moving on again he's been rejecting you Oh, that's not, I may be reading for two different people because I thought you said someone show up. Yeah. But if his actions are not showing, you need to find someone that action shows. Or you need to uh, tell this person what it is that you are looking for. Because there is... Oh, oh, I see why you say his actions are not showing up. How to make his actions show up? How to make his actions show up? The completion. Maybe let go of other expectations. You may be holding this person to past expectations so even though you don't want to be with a past even though the past people didn't treat you right you're still measuring this person on a past person's stick vibration you need to let go of the whole idea of maybe you can reach out to this person put out i don't want to say put out effort put out effort pray for this person connect spiritually with them um you start showing them that you love them release release that those feelings that you have they they are somehow able to receive you they have space for all that you have inside you've been keeping inside of yourself this person is um i hear ventricle <laughs> listen they may be they may have direct connection to your heart or like a soulmate or soul ties or they they can feel you intimately for real like 
a deep connection. They know what you don't even have to explain sometimes. So when you say he's been rejecting you, how do you mean? He's saying no to you. I don't want to see you. Instincts. All right, that's it. That is it. Thank you all for the likes. Thank you for watching. So this reading has been your abundance is coming in. And those who never chose you or took you for granted are going to be seeing um, your level up, your star quality, you healing. And they're going to wish that they had stuck around or treated you fairly, treated you better. Something about a grandpa. You're yeah, the three of cups. It's good energies. You're, you're going to be celebrating good news um, pertaining to your money, your investments. You're reaching higher heights. You may not see it, but it is happening. You may not see it yet tangibly, but it is coming through. Because I keep feeling something is manifesting. It's coming. It's coming into tangibility. Right? I know for sure. Something sure, secure. Something you're going to see, feel, know. Or someone. Okay, so take it easy out there. All is well and all is within you. I wait for your last comments if you have any. No more questions at this point in time. And then we'll tune off. You have a wonderful rest of your Sunday. Some of you is night already. Um, I hope you enjoy your Sunday dinners, etc. Love you. Okay, you sent it already just now. Okay. I, I want to hear what happens next. Um, Take it easy on yourself. Breathe deeply. Be confident. And, and use your discernment as well. And try to always focus upon what healing and well-being will, will this experience bring for you. This is about your wholesomeness. So that you can always continue to manifest, attract how you feel and what is best for you. That's, what, that's most high energy. Okay, love you. 